W here. Uh, this is a, apologies in advance. This is my first time using this uh, little camera gizmo uh, that I just got for this past Christmas on a tripod. This may not work very well. I was going to show a, uh, a little piece of test equipment that another ham friend of mine gave me here just about three days ago uh, that he had sitting in his garage that he forgets exactly where he got it. It is an old RCA. Uh, WT501A in-circuit, out-of-circuit transistor tester. Still in the original box. And the last time that this was shipped anywhere uh, that can be proven was 925.69. So, uh, this is at least one year older than I am. And inside we have the original foam cover. Packing material, the envelope which still has the original manual, warranty card, etc. inside, and the device itself, transistor tester. Now, unfortunately, one of the key components is missing, which are all the test leads. So if it can't be socketed, the, the leads are missing, but that's okay. Those can be replaced fairly easily. Now, before I get to the to the really interesting part that's inside, just for giggles, I'll go ahead and show what's inside the envelope. The original RCA manual, suggested price, 75 cents. <laughs> okay. The original warranty card, which is uh, blank. It was never sent in. Somehow I don't think RCA is going to honor that. And the little uh, RMA sheet, if there's a problem and this has to be sent back, plus it explains the, uh, the warranty, the length of warranty, etc. So all of the original documentation, paperwork, and cards started reading on the back, WT501A, transistor tester, etc., so forth and so on, battery check, uh-oh, battery check, surely there aren't still batteries inside, there are, the original, factory installed, RCA dry cells. They are soldered in. Don't know how well you can see this. These have never been replaced and they haven't leaked or broken down. Now here's where it gets really good. These batteries are at least, at least 41 years old. I hope that you can see this and I hope that you can read it. 1.471 volts DC on that cell. 1.474 volts on this cell. <laughs> oh, they don't make them like they used to. This is absolutely insane. If I hadn't had seen it myself, I wouldn't have believed it. Now, you might not be able to pull any current through them anymore, but they still have voltage. And they are, they still read as practically brand new if you just trust voltage. Which may not mean a whole lot. But there it is. In all of its uh, apparently barely used glory, if used at all. Just wish I knew where the original test leads were. Anyway, hope that you got as, uh, as big of a kick out of this as I did. Thanks for watching.
talk to you later. AE5 and W clear.